Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot and today we are going to be looking at the Monoprice 3D printers, um, at least an update on the Monoprice 3D printers. I haven't talked about them since probably January or maybe February, so it's been about three months. Um, I made tons of videos on the Monoprice Mini V1 because I did all sorts of upgrades to it and you guys really seem to like that. I also made a video titled uh, best beginner or budget uh, 3d printer of 2017 and that video is still doing really really good and a lot of people seem to be extremely happy with it well at ces which is the big electronics uh show that happens every single year in las vegas monoprice was there and they had showcased a monoprice mini v2 a delta printer uh, i believe an sla printer and one other printer uh, the two i was most excited for was the monoprice mini v2 as well as the delta because they are the budget 3d printers that we're talking budget is in like 200 ish dollar range which in my opinion that's kind of my range like no more than 300 but 200 dollars is very feasible nowadays for a 3d printer um, just with the amount of kits and stuff that are available well there hasn't been a lot of information really released there was kind of rumors and stuff like that a little bit of stuff came out about the monoprice mini v2 the delta was a little bit more secretive well the monoprice mini v2 is actually out so for those of you that didn't know it is now available um, so in this video we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the monoprice mini v2 as well as the delta talk about some of the stuff about them and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. We have in front of us is the Monoprice Mini V2, which um, right at a first glance, it's the unit's black versus the uh, V1, which is all white. So it looks completely different. The frame, everything looks the same, but the color is completely different. And the price tag on it is 220 and I believe the V1 was $199, uh, like $200, $199.99. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know in the description down below or the comments down below. But I believe that they increased the price by $20. And if you're wondering what the difference is between the V1 and V2, from what I've gathered, the hot end is the first thing that they upgraded. Supposedly now it's an all metal hot end. I don't remember the original not being all metal. Um, but I'm sure it wasn't if they're saying now it's all metal. I already swapped mine out to an E3D style hot end. So that was my solution to not having, I guess, the best hot end. So hopefully this hot end's better. Uh, you should be able to print all your, you know, pretty much every filament you could desire, PLA, ABS, PTG, um, nylon, um, any, I mean, flexible filament, I'm not sure about because of the fact that it's got the Bowden setup. Uh, I've been able to print some flexible filaments with the Bowden setup, ones that are like semi-flexible filaments. Um, I'm not sure on the really flexible ones, you might have issues with the tubing, but, yeah, you should be able to pretty much print everything now uh, with that all metal hot end. As far as the bed goes, they changed it up and it's got a layer of build tech on it. Uh, so you should have a easier time getting your prints to stick. I never really had an issue with it. I just used my hairspray and heated the bed up a little bit. And I always, most of my printers and my prints, I have the nozzle probably a little closer to the bed than I should. So the first layer kind of like half extrudes out correctly. Um, but I do that just so that way my prints stick. I, I hate, 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 especially on prints that are more than like 30 minutes. When the print lifts, it's really frustrating to be like an hour and a half into a print and see a curl on the corner or something like that. So that's my solution. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's got that. And supposedly they also did something with the insulation. It looks like there's something kind of hanging off the side here. So I don't know if that has something to do with the bed insulation, but maybe that'll make the bed heat up quicker. Uh, even though with it being such a small bed, and it's aluminum. Mine always heated up extremely quickly. Uh, on top of that, they also said that they added some uh, like rigidity in the actual chassis of this thing. There was some issues with the first one having the smooth rods for the Z-axis actually kind of wobbling or wiggling, uh, which didn't cause too much problems in my prints, but it did make a lot of noise as the printer kind of climbed the uh, you know the X-axis arm along the Z it would make some really loud noises like squeaks and things like that so apparently that's fixed one other thing that they did is they made like an exhaust fan with an exhaust fan for the mainboard electronics which is always good to have um i printed vents on the side of my 3d printer like uh, you can't really see so on mine this is completely open with like vents so air can flow through it that was my solution i don't think i added i didn't add a fan on mine because i didn't want to draw too much power from the little power supply but um, now there's a fan which is really nice it looks very clean so that's cool so on paper it sounds really good um, I have not personally heard from people or no reviewers that have gotten this printer in monoprice if you guys want to send me one I would love to review this printer um, if you guys want to share this video with monoprice that'd be awesome but 
Uh, a buddy of mine that does have this V2 said that he was having issues with it and it just wasn't printing good. Um, he said that I believe that there was some issues with like uh, Z wobble and like waviness with the prints. So I was really bummed to hear him say that. And I don't know if that is just a freak thing that he just got a bad unit or it was damaged in shipping. I really don't know. But that's the only thing that I have to go off of so far. So um, I still really recommend the V1. The V2, again, if they just fix things and it still prints as good as the V1 did, but now it has these upgrades, then fantastic. But um, I'm gonna need to see some more units kind of reviewed and hear from people uh, before I kind of give my opinion on it. But they are out of stock until the 28th, which is only three days away. Um, there's a little notify me button. So if you wanna put your email in, maybe you can you know, snag one as soon as the shipment comes in. But um, yeah, so that is the mono price select mini v2 let's move on to the delta which is thing i'm also really excited about it is on indiegogo which is a little strange to me because indiegogo is typically like a kickstarter website where kind of uh, companies or smaller startups that need backing um, and want to kind of get the funding beforehand will go on here and monoprice is already an established company with a huge track record so it's strange to me that they went this route but um I think that they knew what they were doing and maybe they were just trying to see how many units they would need to kind of output. As you can see, they were only trying to get 30,000, although they had a flexible goal and they have 1,246 backers and they've already raised a whopping 226,000 with a month left to go. So if you want to be one of the first people to get your hands on this printer, it looks like it's $169 plus shipping. I have no idea. I didn't mean to click that. I have no idea how much shipping is. I guess you probably have to put in your information. I'm sure shipping, if it's going to their warehouse in Rancho, which is um, leave, which is right next to me, it's probably really cheap for me while it might be more expensive for someone, say on the East Coast. Um, but yeah, so this printer looks very, very cool. It looks solid. Um, some of the features that it has is a auto bed level. It's ready to print right out of the box. It has Wi-Fi built into it. Um, I, the, the actual build volume isn't very large. I'm trying to see, I know I saw somewhere the, um, ah, okay. So it prints peel and ABS, thing weighs four pounds. The uh, build volume is only 120 by 120, so relatively small. But again, if you look at the price, it is only 169 bucks coming pre-assembled. Um, and it also, one beautiful thing about printers from Monoprice, as far as from what I've seen and what I know, is that they come with a one year warranty for hardware. So if anything fails, you've got that guarantee, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm not sponsored by Monoprice at all. So I know I'm like hyping it up. I'm really not, they don't get paid by Monoprice. I've never gotten, I've, it, the only printer that I have is the mini and I paid out of pocket. So please don't think this is a biased, like a review opinion. I'm just typed on it because they make budget printers that are ready to rock and roll that are relatively good and respected by the community. So I really like Monoprice. I've gotten my buddies to buy these printers. They're just kick ass printers. So, um, yeah, I really don't know what else needs to be said about it. Again, it says they're ready right out of the box. This thing is even easier to print with than the Monoprice Mini because the Mini the mini is so easy to print with. You literally just turn the bed screws and level it if need be. Um, but with this, you don't even have to do that since it has the auto level. Um, I, I don't think it has an inductive sensor. I think it might have a physical switch. I'm not positive on that, so don't quote me. Um, I haven't actually seen one in action. but. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's also cool, it says open source software, meaning that um, I don't like when you have to use proprietary software with 3D printers. So um, for me, I use Repetier. So you can use Repetier, Cura, it looks like, um, Simplify, um, and it's compatible with every major operating system, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So really cool. I'll place links in the description. Um, so that way you can find out more on both of these if you do want to do some reading for yourself or pre-order or get a notification or whatever it is. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these. If you're excited, if you plan on getting the Delta, I'd really like to see how many people um, are planning on getting the Delta. And if you have the Mini V2 and you would like to share some input or feedback, I'd really like to see someone that has one and two that can compare the two side by side. Um, but yeah, if you got any information, um, first hand about these two printers. I'd really like to know more in the comments down below. Don't forget to slack slack Don't forget to slack. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos guys I hope you're all having a great week and I will see you in my next video. Peace guys